So now we've got our data sorted, we're going to work out how we can search it. And we have an algorithm for searching this. We could do it in a way that we search each individual item. And this is called a linear search. And we check one, two, three. And if we were looking for the seventh, uh, the card number seven, which happens to be our seventh item, we'd have to check it seven times. However, there is a far more efficient search that we can use in computing. We can do a binary search, which divides the quantity of items in half each time. So, let's have a look. A binary search, we'll select the middle card first. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Takes us to the center here, our number, our sixth card, which happens also to be number six. And if we were looking for number seven, we'd go, is that number seven? No. Is number seven above the number six? Yes. So at this point, we can discard everything before number six and the card number six itself. We go back to our middle point, which happens to be nine. Is nine seven? No. Is it before the card number nine? Or is seven before the card number nine? Yes. So we can discard nine and everything above nine. This leaves us with a bit of an issue because there isn't a middle card. What we'd do is go to the middle point and go to the next card above it and say, is that number seven? In this case, no. So it must be this one. So this is our number seven card. That allowed us to select or do three checks, three checks or three, three um, searches as such, which is a lot quicker. Now, in this case, we only had 11 cards to start with, but you could have a million items. And each time you use a binary search, you reduce your search range by half, making the binary search far more efficient than the linear search.